Hang in there. I think I found one of our old hunting camps. Yes, this is it. It seems there are some supplies left over in here. I should be able to get a fire started in no time. Just stay with me, keep breathing. I'm going to lean you up against this rock. There. That should do it. Are you comfortable? No, probably not. Well, let's get some light in here and start getting How are you feeling? Yes. You took quite a hit. That mountain lion came out of nowhere. You don't remember. Oh. Don't worry. Your memories will come back to you once you have rested and I've seen to these wounds. You look really beat up. Move some of this dirt and snow out of your face. I can see your wounds a little clearer. There. That's a bit. like you have too many serious wounds, although this one, sorry, I didn't mean to touch it. This one looks really bad. We'll definitely need to fix that up. Lucky for us, our fellow tribesmen have this cave we can use in an emergency that's normally stocked with supplies, medicines, and furs. So hopefully I'll be able to find you something to heal these wounds. I honestly thought you were dead when that So glad I managed to get you to safety. Who knows what would have happened to us if I didn't. Well, you sit there by the fire, keep yourself warm, and I'm going to find us some water. You must be absolutely parched. I know I am.
I managed to find us some water. There was a little stream, natural stream, that runs through this cave. I remember it from when I was a little girl. Strange how things come back to you. I remember being in this place before. I remember the cave paintings. I remember my mother painting my hand and placing it on the wall to show that I was here. And she had done the same when she was a little girl. And all these handprints are the handprints of our ancestors. Isn't that something special? Um, I found the stream and some nice cool water for you. Yes. Don't worry. Take another sip. That's good. The stream runs very strongly through the cave, so there is plenty of water for us to drink. I think that's why the ancients chose this place as a hideout, and how our fellow tribesmen keep it stocked. It's definitely saved us, that's for sure. Healer. But the mystic has taught me some of her ancient wisdom and tried to teach me how to do the ancient spells with the healing potions. But I don't think I'm that good, but I think in the situation that we're in, was collecting the water, I noticed that there were some ancient leaves and herbs and spices and magical potions that I could use. I think I know the spell and the potion needed for this big wound on your head. Now, I'm going to go some of the medicine for you. All right, it may take a little while as I will need to remember the spells that go with them. Yes, I know I should pay more attention, but I am too busy hunting. I am too busy going out and foraging for has always been my way. <laughs> but I know I should pay more attention to the mystic, especially in times like this, we definitely need it. Alright, I will go and mix up the magical potions for us, and then I will apply them to you. I ask that the 
Earth spirit, watch over your body. wound first. I pray to the Earth Mother. 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 I pray to the Earth Mother that this will keep you safe. Let me have a look at your arms. That mountain lion really got you, didn't it?
Oh yes, you're right. I didn't notice that there. It is very sore. I will have to put some on myself, but you will have to say the spell for me. leave it to dry and then that will create a protective barrier against dirt and it will heal from within so don't pick it or anything like that just let the natural healing properties sink into the wound and by morning Just in case you do accidentally knock it off, <laughs> I can apply some more to you. How's this fire doing? Let me put some more wood on. Are you warm enough? It's not getting that warm in here. some furs around here some wool I think I spied some when I was mixing up the potion let me get you one because I would hate for you to be cold especially when you've had such a traumatic experience we need to keep you warm and well rested enough to keep it covered up so it's nice and dry and nice and warm and it's going to be perfect to keep you nice and snug and warm let me lay it on you much better, right? Hmm. You look so cozy. Me? No, I don't get cold. You should know that by now. My blood runs very warm in my veins. That's why the matriarch chose me to be the lead hunter. I can withstand the cold. 
is freezing. I'm always very, very warm, so I don't need an extra blanket, but thank you. So you really don't remember what happened then? What's the last thing that you remember? Yes, I shot the deer, that's right. Yes, it was a very good shot, thank you. And no, the deer didn't suffer. I managed to get it and kill it outright. And so, it was a nice, clean kill. But then do you remember what happened? Yes, you went to collect the deer whilst I stayed back. But then, a mountain lion pounced out of nowhere and battered you to the ground. I honestly thought you were dead. My heart was beating out of my chest. I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. I honestly thought that I had lost you. So, I drew an arrow and I fired it at the mountain lion, but because I was so shaken up, completely missed, and the arrow just landed right in front of the mountain lion. The mountain lion saw me, and I saw it, and we locked eyes. And then just about when I was going to fire another arrow,
some more. There isn't much I can do for you now, except let you rest. But you must be hungry. I know I am. Shall I see if I can find us some food to eat? Maybe there is some dried meat or some dried fruit in here. We would be feasting on nice roast. Listen out for 
that mountain lion just in case he comes back. But don't worry, if he does, I'll be ready for him. And uh, I'll make sure that you are nice and warm and that the fire is going all the time. I don't need to sleep. I realized how foolish I am. 